Hello guys, in this quick tip I'm gonna show you how you can assign a custom keyboard shortcut for Blender's uh, render viewport shading mode. The render viewport shading mode is a mode in the 3D view, in the 3D viewport uh, that allows you to view your scene in real time while it's rendering. To demonstrate it, we can switch it in the header of the 3D view by, by clicking on this icon and switching it to rendered. What this does is it shows you your scene in, in real time. Uh, now if we could just add it to plane to make it a bit more interesting, uh, we can see what's going on. So it shows, it's, it's rendering and it shows us our scene in real time. And this is a very nice feature and uh, it's it's used quite often. And uh, uh, like there are there are also other viewport shading modes and the common the common ones are solid and the wireframe mode and to switch between the two you hit the Z the Z key and it it toggles between the two modes and this is very handy because uh, usually while you're working on a scene you you'd want to switch between the solid the solid mode and the wireframe mode and uh, it would also be nice if there was a keyboard shortcut for the render viewport mode because uh, as you texture your scene uh, uh, or just are you, as you're lighting it or whatever you, you'd want to switch between the render viewport and it's uh, after a while it will get tiresome to have to have to go down here and just switch it it would be nice if there was a key that you could just hit and uh, toggle between the two to do that we, we will have to, at first we'll have to go to the user preferences of blender here you, uh, you go to the file menu and you, you click on user preferences and under input there are a bunch of tabs and on under input there's this screen you find the screen and there is a bunch of ca categories here, and uh, we'll be, we're concerned about the three the three D view because that's what we want to change. And under here, there is uh, the three D view global, which is uh, minimized by uh, default. But I've recorded this tutorial quite a, for like two takes before, and uh, I, that's why it was open. And uh, here you can see a list of functions and their keyboard shortcuts that that are associated to them. On the right side, you can see the shortcuts, and on the left side, you can see the functions that are associated with them. And uh, so, what, what we're going to do in this uh, quick tip is uh, add a custom, add a custom value uh, down here that 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 is able to toggle between the render report mode and the solid mode. To do that, we just will most most of the will actually copy one of the already existing functions and we will modify it to switch between the rendered view and the solid view to do that we'll have to add a new add a new keyboard shortcut and to do that we click on this and uh, it brings you a little addition to the list and you max you maximize it and here there's a, there are a bunch of settings that you can fill out now if you're a python genius uh, you could just uh, add what you want here from the top of your head, but since I am not a packing genius and I'm making this video for those of us who are not, uh, we'll just simply copy an already existing function. And the function we, we want to copy is the the already existing function that toggles between the solid mode and the wireframe mode. And uh, as and what we know from the what we know is that the Z key toggles between the two. So now all we have to do now is to find under this list the Z the, the Z key. And we'll just we'll simply copy the function, and here you can find it. And when, when you maximize it, we can see the bunch of settings that are associated with it. So we'll just copy the settings, and we'll just switch uh, edit uh, edit it a bit to get it as we want. So the first thing we're going to copy is this one. So hover your mouse over here and just hit Control C, scroll down to our uh, custom custom uh, keyboard shortcut and hover your mouse over this blank box that says none and paste to paste it just hit ctrl v and uh, as you can see blender automatically adds two new boxes that you can fill out uh, to better customize your your interface so uh, we'll also copy this from the above one so we'll scroll up we'll scroll up and here there's a context attribute place and we'll just copy this text and scroll down and uh, we'll paste it here so let me just explain what we just did and what what we first did is give gave it a toggle function a toggle function is a function that toggles between two values now the z the z key toggles between two values the 
the wireframe and the solid view and we want the same effect so we just copy that from the above one and the, the contact attribute is what we're actually toggling we're, we're talking we're toggling the viewport shading mode so we we'll, we we'll also copy that from the above one and here we have the val two values associated with this function and here we type in rendered and the reason we type here rendered is because in the above in the already existing shortcut uh, the value is solid so the default value is solid and when you hit the z key it toggles to a wireframe and, and when you hit the z key again it toggles to the solid so this is uh, the this keyboard shortcut talks between the two values so uh, in our custom one we want the default value to be the rendered and type it in all in caps and uh, we want it to toggle to the solid view so we we'll type in solid here so now we have uh, set up all the settings and all we have to do now is assign a key uh, currently in blender the q key is not assigned so if you hit q while you're in the viewport or anything it does absolutely nothing so we can use that key to uh, customize it so that we're not replacing any other uh, an already existing key so hover your mouse over here and click on, click on this a button when you click on it it says press a key and we'll hit q so now we have successfully assigned our custom uh, our custom shortcut that toggles in the render viewport shading mode and the solid shading mode. So we go back to our main scene, and uh, now when you hit Q, it automatically toggles to the render viewport shading mode, and when you hit Q again, it toggles to the solid. So now you know you no longer have to go go under here and hit render to see how your scene is looking. And uh, if you're happy with, you, with what you have assigned, you go here and you click the save your user settings button. I'm not going to click this because it will override other settings that I want to keep as they are. So I won't do it. But if you're happy with what you've changed, just go ahead here and just click on this save your settings button. And uh, so now we have, six, we have six, successfully assigned a key that toggles between the solid view and the rendered view. And uh, as a new addition to Blender 2.68, Blender internal also supports this feature. So if you're in Blender internal and you hit the Q button, whoa, you see that? It's now Blender internal also supports uh, viewport shading, uh, rendered viewport shading. And I think it's pretty awesome. So now what this means is it doesn't matter which render engine you're using, Blender is now able to show you what your scene looks like. Uh, uh, in real time. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was useful.